Hi, I'm David Ginola, and I'm on the spot. Well, yes, I've been interested for so many years, and obviously, uh, project of the, the Qataris investors uh, is very interesting. Very interesting because uh, you can see where they were, they want to aim. Uh, they want to aim to really to the top. The first leg in Paris will be very important for Paris. Uh, they will have to, uh, to, to keep a, a good result, not conceding uh, too many goals. And, uh, and well, there's a big challenge for them, but uh, so many uh, great memories to play against a team like Barcelona that just come on the pitch with a smile on your face because it's a great moment. You played in the PSG team that beat Barcelona in 1995. What are your memories of that game? It's just amazing. When we draw uh, Barcelona, we just end up the, the group stage. We uh, won six games out of six. Uh, we had 18 points, the max. Uh, we beat Bayern Munich, uh, Dynamo Kiev, Spartak, Moscow. We had uh, so many great, great things. Uh, so to draw Barcelona in quarterfinal, it was like, uh, okay, we could do something because we had the player, we had the team to do something good. So. Uh, we did it and uh, we beat them and we went through. The passion is such, so amazing. I mean, it's, uh, it will be difficult for Germans, English, uh, Spanish or Italians or even French, uh, but still a place, still football games. And in, when it comes to uh, talk about a football game, anything can happen. At the moment, I think Frank Ribéry is uh, definitely a, uh, a better asset for, for the French team. Uh, Karim Benzema he has played more than a thousand minutes uh, without scoring a goal and for a striker it's really complicated. It starts really to be really complicated because you see the man, is, he lost all his confidence and Ribéry was, uh, was just amazing. I mean, he's the one who can make the difference. He's running at players, he's, uh, he's creating opportunities for others, for himself. So it's, uh, it's, really int he's a really interesting player.